What the fuck is the? I don't. I'm jail. Oh! oh. Clink is jail. Uh, <laughs> I thought. Oh. I thought you realized. No, <laughs> no I, I didn't know. That's what Clink meant. All right. Okay, we don't, we have, don't time have time for, for games. games here, you little bitch. Whatever it is, he loves it. Whatever it is, Hugo's gonna love it. So put it back <laughs> in the tank now. You're not a teacher. You can't tell me what to do. I am now. Hmm. Yes. Well, I am. Can you please put the bag down? Next time, we won't say please. Susan glares at Hugo for a moment before dropping her book back on the floor. It lands with a wet slap. Just. We stare at it for a moment before it starts to move. Sweet Manchego. What? Sweet Manchego. Sweet Manchego. Hugo leans down and unzips the backpack. A horseshoe crab frantically scuttles out and across the floor. An employee swoops in, scoops it up, and places it back into the tank. She gives us a disapproving look. Jesus, Susan, what was your plan? Jesus, Susan! I was trying to free him! To where? Outside? Where he was going to die? <sighs> Susan, go back to your group. We'll discuss this later. Yeah, and hands where we can see them, you little bitch. <laughs> Susan sulks off, leaving me alone with Hugo. He gives me a pat on the shoulder. Hmm? Middle schoolers have sticky hands. I doubt that's the first time that's happened here. Or the last. And I wasn't afraid to hit her. <laughs> in the next room, we see a variety of smaller tanks. Sea urchins, tiny fish, and a rainbow of beautiful underwater underwater plant life surrounds Oh! Look over here. Hugo points to some seahorses gathered in the bottom of the tank. One of them is in the middle of giving birth. Hmm. That's actually the male seahorse. Sort of takes fatherhood to a new level, doesn't it? Hey, kids, come check this out. There's a male seahorse giving fucking birth, guys. Oh, damn! A low murmur from the students. They just jump back on this phone. Hey. Fun fact, male seahorses can even give birth and get pregnant in the same day. Whoa. They and horny boys. We thought we had it hard. Ah. I wonder if they had to deal with their kids' awkward teenage years. All however many thousand of them. You seem to know a lot about marine life, Hugo. You're a fucking English teacher. Oh! It's not really my specialty, but I do make a point to learn as much as possible whenever I can. That's I think, nice. I think that learning shouldn't end when you leave school. We should challenge ourselves to find more about the things we don't understand every day with our lives. Yeah, you just Google everything. <laughs> because if you stop learning, I don't think you'll ever be able to grow or change as a person. Good point. But I still don't trust the ocean. We'll get there. We finally make our way to my favorite part of the tour, the Arctic exhibit. Do we get to see the oh, penguins? Boy. Yes, we get to see the penguins. Hell yes. <laughs> A group of kids run around the exhibits. They won't stop tapping on the glass of Puffin Enclosure, trying to get their attention. <laughs> it's fucking Pingu. Yeah. <laughs> For at least a few mo moments, teachers, chaperones, students alike seem to be having a great time. What was I so worried about? This isn't too Whoa. bad. Hugo suddenly grabs my arm. Oh shit. Oh he my shook. god. There's a student in the Penguin Enclosure! <laughs> he shit! shook! He shook. Wait, just kidding, it's very bad! <laughs> is it one of ours? Like, if it's not, like, who gives a shit? <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's one of ours! Oh, it most certainly is. Molly Henderson, Susan's friend. Of course it's Molly! Susan's friend. I wonder if Jacob had a manager named Molly. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dog named Molly. Oh, there you go. This is just Jacob, Jake, the Jacob simulator. <laughs> Jacob's one of the daddies in this game. <laughs> I look over to the penguins and see a determined looking kid crouching behind a rock. She's hiding just out of sight of one of the employees. Over on the side of the enclosure, I see the door to the exhibit ajar. Is it unlocked this whole time? We gotta stop her before the staff sees and bans our school for life. Hugo looks around. <sighs> I'll create a distraction. I I am excited to see this distraction. <laughs> Hugo runs towards the puffin exhibit and dresses no, the entire room. Uh... Everybody, everybody, everybody! I have an announcement. The whole room turns towards Hugo. Eh. Um. Ah. Here's a few facts I bet you didn't know about penguins. Everybody just stares at Hugo confused. Well, this is my shot. I run into the enclosure and I'm greeted by a cold blast of air. Psst, hey. The girl whips around and look at me. Her nose is pink from the cold. You can't be in here. Neither can you. I try to walk over to the girl, but the ground is so icy I just end up slipping. I catch myself before I hit the ground, but the girl still laughs. At me. <sighs> Contrary to popular belief, penguins are birds. Birds are traditionally known to fly, but penguins cannot. So I understand some confusion when we're discussing the birdness of penguins. Crown is still somehow enraptured. Well, okay. Kid, what are you even doing, you little fucking... I'm letting the penguins go. They deserve freedom! What the fuck is with these kids and freedom? I don't know. Where are they even going to go? They're going to live in my closet. Girl, I've been in the closet, and that is not freedom. <laughs> <laughs>
That is the opposite of freedom, bitch. <laughs> you do not know what you're getting them into. Look, I just don't even have time to argue about this. We gotta get out of here. I'm Polnareff, aren't I? Don't you like me? Come on. I'm like the main character. Not until I save a penguin. You little bitch. Hmm. Little known fact is that penguins only live in cold climates. I, with some exceptions. So they don't all live in cold climates if you're splitting hairs here. Did I mention they don't fly? The crowd is starting to lose interest. I'm running out of time. I gotta lay down the law. Why would I relate to her being like, oh yeah, man, the freedom. What would I bribe her with? Uh, here. Have you have me. money. Yeah, but it's like a 10 year old. Do they care about money yet? Yeah. <laughs> I think like when they get to like a little bit older, they start caring about how to fuck All right, know. it's up to you. I forget if any of these are particularly bad. I'm laying down the law. I'm prepared to raise my voice. No, I didn't mean doing that. And then I hesitate. Is it weird for me to raise my voice as a stranger's kid? Is it like parenting faux pas or something? No. no. Money. Give me money. Okay, fine. I will give you $20 right now if you leave with me. Well, I think for a second. Okay, well, give it to me right now. I reach into my pocket, pull out everything I have, examining each bill. Okay, well, I have $12 and some change. Also, there's a button here. Is that enough? Pay me the other eight later and we have a deal. We moved to shake on our arrangement before I suddenly realized there's a wave of penguins on their way out from the enclosure. We're going to have to block these birds. Is this the minigame? This is a minigame. This is the minigame. Oh, that. is that Aaron? Block that bird. <laughs> So how am I, do I just, you, you click, yeah. Oh, I, you gotta I can, push them all back. Don't let them out. No, 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 no! Wait. Oh, you lost penguin. Oh, what the? That's dumb. You can just rapid fire. Yeah. This is the optimal way. <laughs> okay. Why is... Oh, the, wait, that's Molly? Yeah. Looks like Aaron again. <laughs> I know. I can just shoot my Aaron hands. from Game, Game Grumps. Every character ever. You gotta put me in the game, guys. Dan well, we only lost one, so I think you can still, like, pass the video pretty solid. Dan gets to write it, but I get to be half the characters. Yeah. Yeah. Ride that team! Ride that team! Oh, okay, did I did it. it. Yeah, close the door. There's no escape. I think that's still, like, an S. How many? How many of them? One. One, because I didn't know they can go, like... Well, no, hold on a second, hold on a second. I got an S, bribery works, but, like, <laughs> you see you have bribery the... Works. You had, like, the, the the walls, right? Yeah. That penguin went through the wall. Oh, no, yeah. It's just the entire screen. That's, There's no... What? That's dumb. That, that I penguin, know. That penguin activated no clip. I'm reporting you for Valve anti-cheat. <sighs> We're glad that's over. Just in time, it looks like Hugo's wrapping up his diversionary penguin speech. Hey. And that's why I think the penguins are one of the best animals in the world. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it, get this shit out of here. <laughs> a few people, something, uh, Hugo spots us from the distance and runs over. Okay. <sighs> Mol, Molly, what are you doing in there? I was liberating animals, Mr. Vega. You realize that the penguins can only survive in Arctic temperatures, right? You would have had a dead penguin on your hands. Well, um, it was the thought that counts. No, Molly, it wasn't. <laughs> Molly turns to me. You owe me eight dollars. Sweet Manchego! Sweet Manchego, what? Just, I'll pay you later, kid. Molly runs off towards Susan. I suppose they can compare animal thief notes. Oh. You're not off the hook, <laughs> Molly. Hmm? Jean-Pierre Polnareff, did you just bribe a child? I don't know what she's talking about. You can't play by the rules when there's penguins on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. We've all done dark things in our lives. I'm not the young, bright-eyed youth I used to be. That person believed in a world where you wouldn't have to bribe children to save a penguin. The me today knows different. I only wish I could go back. Hmm. Let's just get through the day and get out of here. The day finally coming to a close. The whole field trip is ushered through the gift shop. We make our way back to the school buses. As we leave the aquarium and the kids load onto the buses, Hugo pulls me ah. aside. Hey, Polnareff, thank you so much for helping out today. You're a lifesaver. It was no problem. It was actually kind of fun. Ah. Let me take you out next time to make it up to you. You like cheese boards? <laughs> you like cheese, boy? <laughs> I love cheese boards. Great. Well, I gotta make sure the kids don't steal anything else. See you around. I, like, actually love cheese boards. They're so good. What is a cheese board? <laughs> it's just, like, they lay out a bunch of different kinds of cheese for you oh. on, like, a board. Oh, okay. It's literally all it is. That's, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that sounds cool. I love cheese I'll, so much. I like cheese. I walk around to find the house empty. You know, <laughs> I wonder where you know who else likes cheese? David Gill. Mm. <laughs> now, he's the kind of guy yeah, that, that looks like he eat eats cheese. <laughs> Does he wonder where Panda's at as well? I don't know. No, we'll have to see. Before I know it, Amanda pops through the front door. Yeah. What you up to tonight? Just doing some homework. How's the aquarium? 
It was an adventure. Some kid tried to steal a penguin. Aww. We've all been there. I had to run and grab her before any of the employees saw. Yeah. You got to go in the penguin enclosure? Did you steal a penguin for us? Amanda, no penguins were stolen thanks to the valiant efforts of myself and Mr. I Vega. mean, one of them got out. <laughs> we don't talk about that one. That one's a no-clipping piece of shit. <laughs> it was nice getting to spend some time with Hugo, oh. though. I'm surprised he helped complete a covert op. He's usually kind of a... Kind of a what? Ah. Kind of a stick in the mud? He's actually pretty cool. I had a good time with him. All right, too much adventure for me today. I'm going to go rest my eyes. Oh. You mean take a nap? There's a difference. You learn when you become a father. <laughs> or just 20 something. By quality, not quantity. Date complete. Uh, there's not much cargo short. Mm, it's fine. It's probably S. Uh, it might be A. Yeah. A, a. plus. Okay, A. Mustache, though. There's a lot of that. Yeah. I think he's going to be you one of your favorites that. by the time you finish the dates. Hugo? Yeah. Not Matt, the music man? Oh no, you'll still like Matt, but I think Matt and Hugo will probably be your top two. Like, out of all these guys, like, okay, number one's probably Matt, then okay. Damien. Alright. Then, interchangeable between Hugo and Craig, maybe, yeah. Hugo, Craig, Robert, Joseph, Brian. Alright. You think I wouldn't like the overly evangelical Christian, but he was a sailor, and that sounds cool. Yeah, true. This true. guy's just a dick. You just hate Brian. <laughs> Fuck Brian. For me, when I first saw them, <laughs> Since we're ranking them, when I first saw them, my favorite was uh, Robert. It still is Robert because he's freaking awesome. And then I was like, I think I said Brian, then Matt, then Hugo, then Craig, then Damien, then Joseph. I think it was. But now that I've actually like done all their dates and like I know all of them pretty well, my favorite is still Robert. I like Hugo a lot. Um, I'd say probably Matt, then Damien, then Craig, then Brian, then Joseph. I don't like These Joseph. These guys are still bottom too. I don't like Joseph. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm not a huge fan of Joseph either. I just like him more than Brian. Fair enough. Fuck Brian. We already did these three. Oh, let's do Craig. Oh, look, look at that eyebrow. What the fuck? It's a scar. He's tough. He's the ultimate manly JoJo character. Perfect partner for Jean-Pierre Polnareff. And his name is Craig, Cra Craig Con. Craig Con. Dad of three. three. Business entrepreneur. Fitness enthusiast, juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> Friday night, you're more to get one last good cardio session in. Bro. If you have one thing to take with you on a desert island, would it be box energy bars, bro? bro. What are your turn-ons? A six-minute mile, bro. bro. <laughs> what, did you, what did you want to be when you grew up? Beer pong world champion, bro. bro. What are your favorite movie genre? Buddy cop movies forever, bro. bro. What's your ideal day? Scaling a huge, dangerous mountain for fun, bro. bro. What do you never leave home without? An extra tube of energy gel, bro. <laughs> energy gel? Oh. <laughs> Alright. I spent a lot of my time thinking about my mile time used to be good. What happened if I peaked? <laughs> peaked so in high school. Uh, that's why. That's opposite jocks, right? Oh, true. <laughs> so let's uh, let's message our boy Craig, our boy from college, who is yeah. now super big man. Oh, we got the same dad tip. Quality, not quantity. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I never get to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. Did you not have Craig's number? Like, no, Craig tested him. Texted him. Why didn't he just text Craig? Why did he need dad book for Craig? I don't know. Maybe there's just some sort of it's connotation just, It's with just it. better when it's dad book, you know? It's just more convenient for the storyline if it's dad book, you know? <laughs> hey, bro, or should I say neighbor, let's catch up like old times. A couple moments passed before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old week long, week and long benders, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment. This could be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more messages, and he logs off to prep for the game. The Is there game. another game? It's a different game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. This game gets a name. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda! I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Hmm. Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. Yeah. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Oh, it's softball. Wanna go? Oh, no. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to my first game and then someone hit the ball toward me and I just ran off the field crying? 
And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up, yes? Mm. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic sentient foffball. So does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks at me dead in the eye. Determined! Ugh. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. That's what I like to hear. Amanda and I, oh, make the short drive out to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty packed. We chamber up to the bleachers, make our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. This gate looks weird. It really does. I've never been to softball. Also, what's the purpose of it if you can get right under it, like right there? Well, I guess it, you'd think it would be to catch the ball in case it went high. But I guess. Not yeah. only could it fly over that, those are pretty big holes so it could fly through that. Yeah. This is not a very effective gate. It's not a good gate. Like, even if the pitcher like throws it and it misses, it could just go straight through and hit somebody. <laughs> it just looks like a WWE cage, really. Ugh. So, when do the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Hmm. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Sure. Huh. Definitely not that. Game starts and the kids run out to the field. Um, I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. Has a river strapped to his chest. As per usual, there's a guy in a, in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field, but I guess that's the mascot. <laughs> the mascot does jumping jacks, okay. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks? I don't know. <laughs> Choke up on the bat, Miranda! <laughs> yeah, Miranda, square up! How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard, despite their name. <laughs> but yelling is fun. <laughs> Give it a shot, it's cathartic. Keep your mind about what's important is that you're having fun. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? <laughs> eyeball. Is good. I want the dad joke. And also an eye on the bat! And the outfield! And the other players! Just keep your eye on all that stuff simultaneously! Nice. We catch a couple innings of softball. They weren't ready for major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. Oh, he's the coach? Yeah. It he's seems like he's really good with kids. Craig Stan Craig is good with children. Whoa. Yeah, right? It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one's run off the field yet crying. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Mm. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball up, out to center field. This tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the ah. forehead. See, it's a completely justifiable fear. The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off a roof into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. <laughs> the game resumes after the girl calms down a bit. We watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The Ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I can see the outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. Eating? Uh. A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the strands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me! Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 Oh no, blah, 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 hothead, oh no! <laughs> I close my eyes and brace for impact. Shit, I'm dead. I can't believe pulling the ref fucking dies. <laughs> God damn it. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in the music. I just want to take a look. Yeah, sir. Dead book. But it's like, it's barely there. So that means yeah, but it'll stay. It'll stay. Cause look, new house stayed. Dad book stayed. Oh. It's so like the important parts it keeps. The dates will get overwritten. Oh yeah, it says that these are autosave. Yeah. Huh. Okay. You're good. Don't worry. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. Ah. I caught the ball. You saved me. Hmm. I caught the ball. Dad, I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I defeated the softball and knew anything. Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I love their relationship. It's great. It's so nice. I love it, too. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Craig's like, you guys should have bopped them harder. <laughs> Great job, everyone, bro. <laughs> Every bro. Every bro. We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Thanks, bro. We've been working hard all season. It's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, 
Have you met Briar and Hazel? Well, oh, those are his, uh, the, okay. his older kids, yeah. The hell Hello! Are hey, killer playing out. Ugh, fuck, that's the. No! Hey, killer playing out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys rule. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Hazel. Okay, which one? Oh, okay. Who's who? You can be Briar. Great. Hazel. Yeah, it's me. Mm -hmm. Good looking out. Huh. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, that'd be one thing I'd be doing constantly. Yeah, I take all of our math tests. And I usually throw rocks at stuff. When people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. What? Hmm. We'll talk about this later. Bro. Love her hair. I know, it's her great. hair looks nice. Oh. Polnareff, bro, I got some... Polnareff, my Joe, bro. <laughs> I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast! Uh, that's not right. <laughs> not so fast! We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration would we have without a fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. Huh? All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Huh. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? What? Huh. What? It's a real place. Okay, pizza time. An endless stream of girls clad in soft... Thirsty's Pizza. Thirsty's Pizza. Clad in uh, softball gear pile out of a minivan and into the local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda, Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Oh. Remember how we used to just fold pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? <laughs> Ew. Ah, pizza tacos. I can never forget. How do we survive college again? Huh? Our bodies were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple of slices of mediocre pizza. What did, uh, what did Polnareff go to college for? I don't know. Like, what were they doing in college other than being college people and doing college things? Oh, you mean like this college? Oh, uh, I was thinking like actual JoJo. I no, like, I don't fucking know. What the f um, I don't think they ever mention it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But I guess they kind of leave that to like your interpretation. Yeah. Hey, give me a piece of that. Whoa. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for uh, addressing the issue, Amanda. Dad. Oh, I got you. I always oh, a dad joke. Yeah, I was saying, give me a piece of that. A piece of that. A piece of that. Fucking. A different mom walks up to us talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Mm. Oh, I'm happy to look after them, bro. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles. Huh. Craig smiles sheepishly. Oh. Thank you so much, dude. Bro. Dude, bro. Craig holds up his fist for a fist bump from the mom and what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. Maybe I should throw him a bone here. Smoke screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what this decision even is. Like, what... I want a tag team with Amanda. Team. We got right. this. We got this together. I give Amanda another knowing look, and she hits me back with a nod. She understands. Amanda puts a hand to her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. Mm. Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie, you're not gonna projectile vomit everywhere, are you? Uh. Yeah, I think I am going to projectile vomit everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to get everyone to clear up, but Martha's not budging. <laughs> back it up, Martha. You're in the splash zone. I drank a lot of orange juice this morning, and I'm feeling pretty acidic. It'll be fine. Oh, of course. Amanda shoots me with a word look. This con is going sideways. I should have known that a mom of all people would know a fake puke scam. Uh, well, I guess it went away and I'm fine now. Nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm talk taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover? Uh -huh. Yup, bro. They're pretty excited about it. You'll get them out of trouble, right, man? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> but I can always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. 
Wow, this lady is really going for the gold. <laughs> it's actually nice to have a night to myself in a river, but thanks for the invite. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter, and next time on Dream Daddy, well, he, this guy just can't catch a break. He really can't, can he? Can't, can he? <laughs>